Uh, welcome back, everyone, to Ferris State basketball coverage in the Preferred Office Machines postgame show. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you. Joined now by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorp, a 62-60 win over Wayne State here in the GLIAC uh, semifinals. And, Coach, your team moves on to the tournament championship game. What a second half uh, for your team here against Wayne State. If that's not the definition of March Madness, they might need to rewrite, the, rewrite that definition because that was the, one of the craziest basketball games I think I've ever been involved in in my entire life. So, so proud of these girls, you know, challenging them at halftime. You know, not, didn't really need to make any adjustments so much as it was just they got to step up, all right? We had to play determined. They had to play desperate, and we played desperate in that second half. I felt like Wayne State might have gotten a little bit, you know, I don't want to say they took their foot off the gas, but, you know, when you're up 15 at halftime, they might have got a little comfortable, and the team that plays the most desperate at this time of the year, usually the team that ends up with the win. So that's that's what that was us in the second half, and I'm, I'm still trying to catch my breath and figure out what happened there down the last couple minutes. Obviously a big shot by Mallory McCarty uh, late in that uh, final minute, and uh, she was a player that uh, kind of struggled in the first half shooting the basketball, but really came up clutch for you with some big threes here in the second half. Well, players make plays. So she definitely did not have one of her better halves in that first half, but players make plays. You know, we were trying to get a set play on there. I probably, I probably called the wrong thing. I probably started calling something that they had to execute with a little more timing than I wanted to. I should have probably given them a little bit more space. So I told Mal, she bailed me out on that one because um, that was not a good set call by me, but she made a play, and that's what's going to take again tomorrow is just players making plays. It's not so much what I draw up. It's the heart, it's the determination, you know, and that willingness to just do whatever it takes, and we, we did it today. We saw that especially early in the second half. Uh, you trailed by 15 at halftime, but big run to start the second half, and you tied it up and really did it at both ends of the floor, made some big plays defensively early on in the second half. Well, really, the defensive end is kind of what got us the offense going because we didn't have to go play against their set defense. You know, Wayne State's a really good defensive team. They got a lot of length. They were doing some strategy today that really gives us trouble, and we'll probably see that same strategy tomorrow against GV. All right, but our girls got the stops, and that turned it into an open floor basketball game. And when it's an open floor basketball game, I think that favors us. You know, we had to think a little bit less you know Adrian could just get the ball go downhill Mal go downhill Caden go downhill the ball was able to move and they weren't having to worry about reading a defense or anything like that they were just able to play basketball and I got out of their way hopefully a little bit and just told them run 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 that was my strategy for that second half and just all the credit goes to the players how big was it uh, for your seniors, especially Adrian Anderson, uh, obviously Zoe Anderson uh, here to just have a chance to extend the season and then play another day? Well, they're not going down without a fight. I can tell you that. Like, this group is absolutely going to be fighting every single game. You know, this is about as much as you can get your backs up against the wall. You know, I told our captains, you know, every team at some point in March is going to start to feel their mortality. You start to feel like, okay, this could be it. If we don't turn it around, what am I going to do in that moment and step up? And all three of our captains played, I think, almost every single minute of that second half, and they stepped up in that face of their mortality for the season, and they got the job done. And now we got a chance to uh, – got to catch my breath before I start thinking about Grand Valley, but I know that one's coming up, and I know that we're, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, uh, tomorrow taking on the Lakers uh, here who got the win in the first semifinal. Going to be another challenge, but uh, a challenge that uh, you certainly look forward to here at this time of the year. Oh, absolutely. When we lost the game at home against GV, you know, in that locker room, there was it was a pretty somber mood. And we said that we were not done with them. You know, we wanted to have that matchup again. We knew to get that matchup again, we we're going to have to win games in the conference tournament. Like, we didn't know when we would have a chance to see them, but we really wanted to see that team. You want to play the team that's number one. You want to play your rival. You want to play the team that's the number two team in the country. You know, we want those challenges for our program. So I know that we're going to show up ready to play. Well, Coach, uh, we look forward to you. Congratulations uh, on today's victory. We look forward to tomorrow's matchup against the Lakers here in the tournament championship game. All right, Rob, let's go get them. That was the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorp, here on our postgame show as the Bulldogs get the big win 62-60. to